Okay guys, welcome back. Today we actually have some pretty crazy footage. If you'll remember, we've been covering the Amber Portwood story where she was arrested in the early morning of July 5th for domestic abuse towards her boyfriend, Andrew Glennon, while he was holding their son, James. Without a crystal ball on YouTube has once again obtained more ring cam footage from inside the home. Keep watching till the end because there's actually new drama that has recently come up between Amber and this YouTuber who has actually exposed these videos. Okay, so getting into the story, this video footage that you're actually seeing right now was obtained by Without a Crystal Ball on YouTube. And here you see Amber coming in. She's got a bottle of wine in the bag on her hip, apparently. Andrew and James are already in there. It appears like they're having some sort of like dispute, but they are actually getting ready to leave for fireworks for the day um, in their local town. Okay, so here we see them actually walking out the door for the day. Amber's got several things. Andrew is walking out to go put James in his car seat. What you're seeing here is the cam footage outside before they're about to leave. Andrew, apparently there had been a chair out in the driveway. Andrew was putting the chair back up on the porch. He was checking the door to make sure everything was locked before they went into town. And just typical things that people do before they leave. They were heading out for 4th of July fireworks, so it was going to be a long night. Now this is important to take notice of the time. This was actually July 4th, 8.41 p.m. that they were actually leaving to head over for fireworks. So when we see Amber walk back up just barely an hour later, and we also saw Andrew back up and pull away, it was shocking. Okay, what you're about to hear next is actually the audio footage that Andrew started to secretly take when this incident went down. They had been going to the 4th of July fireworks. Amber got frustrated, allegedly, because of traffic, I believe. She was frustrated and basically taking it out on Andrew. So things escalated into a fight in the car while Andrew was driving them back home. Apparently, from what we understand now, she actually, like, backhanded him in the car. If you listen to the audio footage, you'll actually hear him accuse her of that. But in the footage here, this is basically them driving. James is in the back seat. Andrew is driving in the driver's seat. Amber's in the passenger seat, basically taking it out on him that they didn't make it to the 4th of July. Next level, you need to get some shit to get you like, take a claw in hand. Hey, don't fucking hit me. Stop, stop, Do not, don't fucking, don't attack me while I'm driving. Stop, stop. God, you smell like nothing but liquor. You just had fucking your mic on lemonade in here. Shut up, shut the fuck up. Oh my god! Right. It's good that you have, you have a plan every 4th of July for the fire. Shut! Fireworks. Andrew, you every no, single 4th no of July, I've always done something except for Yeah, this right. Time. I never had a one year old last, thing. Last year, I had to come up with the idea. Because I was, and it, I was and it worked pregnant. out. No, you weren't. I held James up through the. What, oh, ba what yeah. baby What yeah, baby was I holding up through no, the sunroof? I know, I know that. Oh, no, yeah. What the fuck? What I'm world? Gonna be able to talk to you. No, like, you're not, because that is insane. You I will mean, give you 20 minutes before I bust you so babe, fucking hard. I, I, I held head. James up through the sunroof. I'm driving. I gave you, I gave you a chance. Yeah, I will drop I gave low. you a fucking chance. It's about to be like that, bitch. I'm going to bust your fucking nose. And you, you're an abusive hardcore. person. I didn't do oh, anything. I, fuck you I didn't do anything to, to, I will kill you, to deserve any abuse house. from you. One, I'm driving the car one, for you I'm gonna and our you son. One more time to stop oh, screaming. So you're going to hit the fucking driver? Like, are you fucking for real? Like, you're a smart. drunk? No, man. I'm not drunk at all. I'm just pissed off because you don't have a fucking Shut plan. Up. And you, you're blaming me for a fucking shitty time. I get, it's so when we see him drop her off, her come to the front door, get frustrated because she can't get in, they had just had this confrontation in the car on the way home. He dropped her off, left to go cool off. So from what we understand that was happening at this point, she had basically locked herself out of the house and she was getting frustrated because as you saw, Andrew had just left. 
she's angry, trying to get into the house and having no luck. Okay, so what we know now from Andrew's testimony to the court, what Andrew did was he dropped her off, he went, drove around, tried to cool off, actually went and bought her food. We see him here arrive back about 20 minutes later after we saw Amber struggling to get into the front door. We hear Amber ask, who is it? And Andrew jokingly yells out, it's the police. Now, once he enters inside the house, you can actually still hear them yelling from the ring cam footage. This is where Amber actually, um, it's on record where she actually started hitting him with her shoe. And as you can see, he was holding the baby. Okay, what you're about to watch next is actually footage from inside the home. After the incident where she started hitting him with her shoe, he and the baby got back in the car to leave. At this point, they had been gone long enough that she was starting to get worried. So what her answer here was to put some of his more expensive items out on the porch and start yelling at him through the ring camera. She was basically telling him, come get your stuff. I don't want it to get stolen, but bring me back my baby. The ironic part about this entire thing is never once in any of this has she cared about the baby. And if you remember the previous footage that was released, the audio, she actually made it very clear that she hadn't wanted another baby and she blamed Andrew for why she was now a mother again. She berates the baby's father in front of him over and over and over in all of this footage that's been released. So does she actually care about the baby being brought back or is it just a tactic to rope Andrew back into the house? Andrew, you're stepping out on the porch. So your camera's on the porch, your dad's hat is on the porch, and your dad's telescope thing or whatever that is on the porch. So you need to come get back and bring my son back. Now there is a warning on this next audio that you're about to hear. What we are going to hear is the moment where Andrew was holding the baby. They came inside. He caught Amber downing a handful of pills. He confronted her about it. By the end of the audio, she starts coming after him with a machete. When you start hearing the machete bang on the door, that's him and the baby in the closet and Amber hacking into the closet door with her machete. No yet. Give me? No, get the hell away from me. Oh, you think that? It's already done. You think? It's already done. Is it? Is it? Okay. Oh, you gonna get a fucking machete out? No, I'll do it this time. Alright, well, he died. What the fuck is wrong with you? You need help. You? You're eating all your fucking medication. Oh, but then you just you just faked out and no, I'm out. fucking puked. Oh yeah. Good good bluff. Nice one, babe. Yeah, good motherly. Very very good. You're gonna be a good mom. Eating all your fucking medication, saying you're gonna kill yourself. Bravo. What the fuck Bravo is wrong Arthur. with you? Bravo. 
job. You're the actor. You no, leave. You just down. No, don't leave. No, you. No, you're okay to leave. Do I need to call an ambulance? No, don't leave. Did you just eat all your medication? Don't leave, seriously. Did yeah. you just eat all your? I didn't need this. I didn't need anything. Did you just eat no, all your medication? No, if this is the way it's gonna be now, figure it out did later. You just, Go on. Did you just eat all your medication? No. So you just faked it, faked that. YouTube channel without a crystal ball was able to actually obtain a picture of the door that Amber was trying to hack down. Um, here you can see the slash marks. Um, it's pretty obvious that it was attacked with a machete. Now here's where stuff's getting really interesting right now. This lady without a crystal ball on YouTube, she has actually been the one who's been releasing these clips. It's hard to say where she actually got them from. Many are speculating that she got them from Andrew directly. Is that probably the case? Yes. Is there any way to prove it? No. Do I think Amber's really going to take legal action against this lady? No. She's not actually slandering her. She's not spreading rumors about her. Amber is now a convicted felon once again. These are actual true founded claims. So Amber is basically just doing what narcissists and sociopaths do, which is go after the people who expose them. Um, this is a stream I have been thinking about for a couple days and was like, do I do this? Do I not do this? Um, it's been a really stressful few days for me and um, I've been trying to just plow through it, not think too much about what's going on, but the last couple days have been extremely stressful for me and it's because of some lives um, that Amber Portwood did about me on Instagram um to more than 3,000 people um like 3,500 people or 3,600 people at the peak and then I have since become a target in um on fan pages on Facebook I have been receiving nasty messages okay let's hold up here for a minute if you're going to come out of nowhere thrust yourself into the spotlight with audio clippings like you have over the last several months you better be prepared to take the heat Am I right? So Katie Joy decides to go on YouTube and address several Instagram lives that Amber had made about her. Obviously, it's bothering her, although she spends the next 20 minutes trying to defend herself and how she's done nothing wrong. Homegirl needs to just stop, wrap it up. She doesn't know any explanations. She's obviously bothered. Katie, if you're listening, take my advice. Be quiet about it. Let Amber talk. You know you're not going to be sued. If you're confident in your work, let it go. Move on. Don't address it. So there was all these, like, accusations that I was going to be, um, I got paid. Well, I didn't get paid. I was very clear that a, I, w I will tell you that uh, Splash News contacted me on Facebook and did offer $750, 6040 Okay, now this is actually not true. Splash News could have never offered her dime for any of this footage because she did not own this footage. Unless she was Andrew or Amber, the footage was not hers to sell. So Splash News would have never offered her money. As someone who's worked with the media and tabloids for going on seven years now, this is absolutely not true. Per clip. And I declined it because it wasn't mine to sell. And it's not my, and it, and they were going to just basically sell it to either TMZ or the Daily Mail. Again, Splash News would have never told her this because Splash News would not be able to actually legally buy this footage to then sell to TMZ or OK Magazine or any other media outlet. It was not theirs to sell. There could be no exchange of money for this footage because only Amber and Andrew owned it. Knowing that there could just be a connection directly to TMZ based on people I know, I was like, well, why would we take money? Why don't we just give it to TMZ? If it's TMZ is going to buy it, why not just give it to them anyway? 
that was my thought process because we can't sell it. This is where shit gets weird. Why would she admit that she can't sell it but then claim that Splash News contacted her to buy it? Obviously Splash News knows that they can't legally buy this footage. And I don't want to sell it. Like, that's weird to me. I don't buy things from people, I don't buy information, and I don't sell information. Maybe I'm missing out, but that's how I run my business. Okay, girl, if you say so. Well, I just want to show you a clip of some of the things that she said to me because this is actually kind of scary if you think about it. That's not true, and literally you make a lot of money off of clicks. Um, and for you, honey, it's a lot of money. Um, because you don't have a job. I know you don't have a job. I know your email. I know your address. Uh, because we had to get that for court reasons. And, um, and all types of things like that. Um, not for anything else. Um, I wasn't the one that got it anyways. It was literally... So she says she has my email address and my address. She realized, in my opinion, that what she real what she admitted to was threatening because she's threatening me by saying, I have your email address, I know you don't have a job, I know where you live. Okay, okay, is this for real? Now listen, I'm no Amber Portwood fan, okay? But Amber clearly stated she had her address for court reasons. Katie Joy, you have got to stop being a victim in all of this. If you're going to do your job, stay professional, don't get involved personally, and for Pete's sake, only deal with these issues if people actually bring legal ramifications to you. Otherwise, continue doing your job. You letting her get under your skin is only going to ruin what you're trying to do here at YouTube. We want to invite you guys to join the conversation down in the comments below and let us know what you think about this entire video. Everything from Amber, the machete going after Andrew, all of the footage that we saw, the drama between Katie Joy and Amber. What do you guys think about it? What do you think about Katie Joy releasing scandalous footage like this? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned in just a second for news on how to enter our biggest giveaway yet. <laughs> Okay, so for our giveaway that we are going to be announcing all of the details on next week, if you are a Teen Mom fan, you are going to want to make sure that you do not miss this. All you have to do is go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, click the notification bell, head down to the comments and leave us a comment, and we will see you on the other side. Don't forget to join the discussion on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.